So it's phase one of the China deal in the books. The Senate says it will likely approve the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement by the end of this week. We are, it looks like, going to be able to process uh, the USMCA here in the Senate this week. That'll be good news for the Senate and for the country, and um, something I think we have broad uh, bipartisan agreement on. Joining me now, former Commerce Department Deputy Director Chris Garcia. All right, Chris, uh, you know, USMCA keeps flying under the radar. It, it, you know, our trade relationship with Mexico and Canada got even better this last year. Uh, they are number one and number two in terms of partners. Just how big is this? How big is the potential? Charles, this is big. This is, it could be even be bigger, as you said earlier, uh, than the China deal. Uh, the fact is that we have uh, north of $700 billion worth of trade each year with Canada, uh, north of $670 billion worth of trade with Mexico. And I think what most folks don't understand is the, the linkage between the U.S.-Mexico and Canada uh, agreement, the USMCA, and the U.S.-China deal. One is designed, the U.S.-China deal, uh, to really enforce and, and crack down on the, uh, t the, the uh, taking advantage of the United States by China. That's happened over the last couple of decades. USMCA is designed to increase trade between uh, U.S., uh, uh, Mexico, and Canada, and we're reorienting that supply chain away from China back to North America. That's another key point that I think is not being reported enough, but of course, you've got it covered here on your show. Well, you know, listen, uh, and we know Mexico has been a huge beneficiary of that, uh, you know, other countries in Asia, particularly Vietnam, uh, on that end. But it, it, it just feels like, wow, all these trade deals, one after another, I think Japan is still in the works. Uh, overall, uh, you know, I know there were a lot of naysayers, a lot of doubters out there, but it feels like it was worth the effort. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you think about uh, you know the, what we uh, what we've experienced over the last couple of decades is a systematic gutting of the U.S. manufacturing base, and uh, that that's something that President Trump recognized coming in and running for president as a businessman is that we needed to rebalance the global trading structure. That's precisely what he's done with the uh, U.S. Canada. Uh, Mexico agreement, the U.S. Mexico Canada agreement, as, as well as uh, the U.S. China uh, Phase One trade deal, uh, and so I think, like Michael Pelsbury said, uh, there are a couple things that make uh, this specific uh, U.S. Mexico Canada agreement uh, similar to that of China. They address structural reforms, and they're fully enforceable. So uh, I think we're we're expecting the Americans to be, uh, you know, appreciative of, of what's happened well, and, and the bipartisan support that that led to this place today. Maybe not all Americans. There is, uh, Chris, a lot of bipartisanship here, but it's not unanimous. 